In this video we're going to be looking at video masking in Caden Live. So here we are in our Caden Live window here and what we're going to do is we're going to blend these two tracks together. We've got a background track and a foreground track. So I'm just going to pull my background track down to my video 2 layer and just click that on and I'm going to drag my foreground clip down and size them both so they're both the same length here. So what we hope to achieve here is we're going to take this video screen here, we're going to mask it out so that we see the top layer in the screen area only and then we see the background layer in the rest of the picture. So it's going to appear, hopefully if we get this right, that the top clip is playing on the monitor screen of this particular background slide. So how do we actually go about creating a video mask? A video mask in Caden Live is a separate file that just defines which area of the picture will be transparent and which will be opaque. You can create the file in any image editor. Here I'm going to use GIMP, so I'm just going to switch back to my GIMP window here. So here we have, helpfully, the background slide already loaded into GIMP. So what we need to do is to mark out the areas which will be transparent and which will be opaque. So to start with, let's mark the area that will be opaque by just using the free select tool and just going down and clicking in the corner of the screen on the background shot there. Okay, so now we've selected that area, we need to fill that with a flat black color because we want this to be opaque. So I'm going to click here, select my black color, um, pick up the fill tool, make sure that the fill hole selection radio button is selected and then just click inside the area to fill it with a flat black color. Okay, so now we've defined the opaque areas, we need to define the transparent areas. So the easiest way of doing that is to go up to the select option here and choose invert. Okay, so that's going to select all the area outside of the screen. So I'm going to switch my color now to white. Again, I'm on the fill tool. Uh, make sure fill hole selection is still selected and then just click on the outside. So that is our simple video mask. We've got our opaque area here defined in black and our transparent area marked in white. Obviously you can use uh, gradation from white to black if you want a semi-transparent area but here we're just um, concerned with 100% opaque and 100% uh, transparent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and save this as a PGM file. Okay, I've already got a file here so I'm just going to overwrite it. Okay, and you get asked a few options. Just click export, save, etc. And our file is created. Now there's one further thing we need to do before Caden Live will actually pick up our file and that is to copy it to the right directory. So what I can do here is just pull up my commands that I used before. You can see here I'm going to copy my file that I've just created, tv.pgm. I'm going to copy that across to the Caden Live masking directory. Okay, and that is uh, slash USR slash share slash KDE4 slash apps slash Caden Live slash Lumas. And then I'm going to call the file tv3.pgm. Um, you've got to be a uh, root in order to copy into that directory, so I'm using the sudo command preceding it. So I'm just going to hit return on that, enter my password to confirm it, and it's done. So if we go back, hopefully, if I um, just have a quick check there, there's the file. So it's copied in nicely. And all we now need to do is to go back to our Caden Live window here. Okay, so again, we've got our two tracks here, our foreground in front of our background. If I just enable the foreground shot here, you can see at the moment our foreground just totally obscures our background. So in order to blend these two together, I'm going to click down in the bottom corner of the foreground track here to create a transition, drag it out to be the full length 
of the clip. I'm going to change the type from dissolve to composite. And then I'm just going to make sure I'm at the beginning of the track by clicking this button here. And then you see this option here may be a bit clearer if I drag it out. Um, there's an option called wipe file. Okay, and this is where we put the um, mask file in. So I'm just going to scroll down, find it, tv3.pgm, just click on that. And finally, I just need to change my opacity down a bit. And here we now see the composite image. And if I play that back down here, if I do a control home and play it back, you can see there's a little bit of action going on here. And the first top level video appears to be playing within the background image. And that's how you blend together two tracks in Caden Live with a video mask.